wow <laughs> i did not anticipate reading this would actually bring me these feelings at all Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Lena. I am an incoming medical student in the US who applied to medical schools in the 2020 to the 2021 application cycle. As many of you have requested, here is my personal statement that I wrote last year and that got me accepted to medical schools. So the reason for me to go into medicine is really around advocacy for vulnerable populations and I talk about it extensively in my medical school personal statement. I hope that this personal statement could offer you some insight into writing your personal statement. Also know that each individual has their own story for going into medicine, so please don't feel that you need to do something similar. I also hope that you could be mindful and respectful of this story of mine. I'm gonna get started on reading it. Uncle, I think we should really go see a doctor and treat your foot. I undered under my breath for the hundredth time. No, small problem. I have no physician and the cost is high here. We wait until next year I visit home country. He stubbornly replied, turning his back on me. I watched him painfully stagger to his feet, disheartened by his doubts on healthcare services. Since then, I have volunteered in diverse communities and recognize how common it is for immigrants, refugees, and underprivileged to hold such thoughts as my uncle. With firsthand experience navigating the complex healthcare system in the U.S., I realized the importance of access to healthcare and explored various ways I could serve different communities to ease their distress and suffering. Working as an intern after my first year of college at Siji Medical Foundation, an organization that primarily serves the uninsured and underinsured through affordable and charitable care, affirmed my values and lifelong commitment to service. I worked for more than 10 hours a day. I knocked on apartment doors to inform the residents about free treatment. I translated and broke down the physical examination reports of refugee children to their uneducated mothers. I show low-income patients how to apply for Medicaid online. Despite my fatigue at each day's end, the bright smiles and signs of relief I encountered filled me with joy and impressed upon me the importance of healthcare access. Our work in health advocacy afforded these patients greater access to care they needed and deserved. I not only gained a foundational understanding of the issues surrounding our intricate healthcare system, System, but also witnessed how affordable healthcare could improve underserved communities' health outcomes. Motivated by my experience in healthcare advocacy, I was eager to gain more hands on experiences with patients and join the Emory Emergency Medical Services. It was one of my first shifts as an EMT in the greater Atlanta area. I lifted the stretcher of Mar, a diabetic patient, and administered high flow oxygen in response to her respiratory distress. Two months later, I saw Mar again under the same conditions, deeply concerned. I inquired and learned that she had not been taking her insulin regularly as she deemed it unnecessary. Holding on to her hands, I explained that insulin is the key to open our cells. Without the keys, our cells shut down and cannot take it in sugar as energy. She looked me in the eye and nodded imperceptibly. Throughout my EMT experience, I had many exchanges with patients like Mar, many of whom have chronic conditions but lack proper medical knowledge to improve their health. Due to the brevity of our contacts, I wonder whether my short explanations have impacted their lives. Nevertheless, their personal dialogues helped me realize how much I want to be the doctor who can check in with patients like Mar and empower them to take ownership of their health. Combining my passions for service and advocacy, I joined Teach for America upon graduation as a full-time special education teacher. I have found it exceptionally challenging to serve students with autism, learning disabilities, emotional disturbance, and other health impairments in underserved communities. Most of my students grow up believing that they are undeserving of trust and care. I hate school. I do not like you. 
or comments from them that made me hurry to my car with misty eyes on multiple occasions. What motivated me to persevere in those moments was the potential I recognized in my students. Beneath their social backgrounds, traumatic experiences, and disabilities, I saw unique individuals capable of pursuing their dreams. My earnest belief in them led to frequent home visits to get to know them better and to daily visits to their general education classes to celebrate even their smallest achievements. You really believe in me, don't you? I think I could believe in myself too. With my relentless efforts, students started to realize that they were embraced and trusted. They started seeing themselves through my eyes, and active learning started to take place. I trust and love you, Miss Lena. Learning is not that bad after all. Our comments I now hear in my classroom. To access resources, people need significant trust in the systems designed to support them. I learned that such trusting relationships in education are built upon empathy and advocacy for the needs of my students. Similarly, patient access to healthcare is made possible by physicians understanding and fighting for the needs of the underserved. Affordability, knowledge, and trusting relationships are the foundations of healthcare access. Striving to advocate for such access and alleviate people's suffering has brought me tremendous joy and growth and led me to pursue a career in medicine. In the future, I want to become a community doc, practicing in areas where people lack proper health care. I will fight for affordable and convenient care. Most of all, I will build strong relationships with patients and empower them with knowledge. To me, nothing is more sacred than being a physician or access point who connects communities with healthcare and tangible hope. Wow, <laughs> I haven't looked at my personal statement for quite a while and now looking back to it, it generates that emotional feeling of why I decided on medicine in the first place because this story is so true to me. Reading this entire statement just brings out all of the images into my mind it really kind of reignited that initial spark for me to go into medicine in the first place. I did not anticipate that reading this personal statement would actually bring me these feelings at all. My original intention was just to share with you what I wrote. This emotion is definitely manifestation of what the purpose of a personal statement is. It is the reason that you go into medicine in the first place. It is that story where you could read after a few months like me right now read it after a few years or when you are feeling so down in medical school or in your medical career that oh this is a story that made me go into this career almost feels like a letter to the future self i hope you find the content helpful and please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions what would the theme of your personal statement be for medical school or other health professions. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll definitely see you next time.